new permission. This is uh, Jason's permission. We're uh, no longer in Sussex. We're uh, about two hours drive away. I won't show you where we are because uh, he doesn't want anyone else to know. But he's had all sorts of interesting finds here. Out of that hole there, my first target, about two feet deep. I've got a piece of aluminium that rung up at about uh, in the 80s. Got IDG and what's it, OB? E on there, is that O? Yeah, OBE. I haven't got a clue what that is. If it's off a bit of mower or something like that. That's about a foot down. Nice soil to dig in anyway. Right, let's see what else we can find. Right, got another target. First target came out of there. Find it. A big old nail or a bolt or something like that. And uh, <coughs> I found another piece of metal. This one's got LO and an E on it. What the devil that is, I don't know. Oh well, we keep searching. Again, nearly your foot down. Right, on to the next. Right, out of that hole there, I got that horseshoe, or I think it's a horseshoe, could be an ox shoe, I don't know. And uh, that 303 training bullet, it's got a piece of wood inside it, and it should have grooves down the side. Yeah, it has grooves in it. Uh, it's a training bullet, so it's a blank. It wouldn't have gone bang. It's got no percussion cap. And that was uh, that hole there, again, eight, nine inches down. Right, I wonder. Right, just come out of that hole there. You can see that in my white glove there. Nice little tiny pistol ball. It's only about four inches down. Nice signal, it's a 55. That's on the uh, Fisher F75 with the big tornado coil on. Right, on to the next. I haven't found a lot for a while, found uh, mainly um, lead and bits of iron. I just found a, another bullet there, an unfired one. The head stamp on it's 41. I can't read the other letters on it. Uh, looks like B and B. It's got a crow's foot in it anyway, which is the uh, British arrow. But the funny thing is, this has got chopped black powder in it. The cordite, chopped cordite, the black stuff. It's not the strand. So, but it says 1941. Unusual. Oh well. On to the next one. Right, we've got first coin. Can you see it down there? Can you focus? I think I've hit it. What have we got? Hang on, I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, I've got a clue what it is. I can see it's got a head on one side, facing uh, left on the back. I don't know, I don't know if you can pick anything up on the camera. We'll have a look when we get home. But it's old anyway. Very old, I think. Right, on to the next. It's been a while, but it looks like we've got another coin. Can you see the where it just come out of the plug? It is called it an R thin. Uh, I'll come back to you in a minute when I've cleaned it. Uh, whatever it is, it's toast. Can't see anything on it at all. Looks a bit bigger than a half penny though. Let's see if we can clean it when we get home. All right, off to the next one. Here's a bit for you, Steve. A bit of shrapnel at my first bit today. Well, right, on to the next one. Right, while Jason was uh, wandering around earlier on, he got another permission for us. And uh, what we found, first target, <laughs> ring pole. And Jeff, over there, I just found a piece of lead. Right, on to the next Right, second target. If you can see that, oh, the pinpointer going off. Switch the ring thing off now. I've got it now. Let's get that out. It looks nice. Oh, it's a Victoria. That's in good nick. 
that is in beautiful condition. And I'll tell you what the date is. It's uh, 1861 Victoria. That is lovely. That is in really nice condition. Wow. Right. On to the next one. How about that for a lump of lead then? It's come out of that hole there. That's got a weigh. Got a pound, pound and a half. God, that's a whopping great lump of lead. I don't know what that was. A weight or something. find it's interesting someone will know what it is right goes in the bag on to the next one right pulled that out big old bit of cast iron I don't know if that's a bit of an old stove or I don't think it'd be a manhole cover would it not all mantle like that but, uh, I'm not carrying that out so I've got a big old lump Right, we'll put it over on the fence over there. Right, on to the next one. Yeah, another 303 live one, unfired. I have to get a date off it. Hang on, let's have a look. Rub it on my trousers. No, can't get a date off it, but it's unfired anyway. Right. Right. That's something different. It's a bit of Bakelite. And inside it, as you can see there, look, there's a piece of brass, and that's what I picked up. I don't know what that's from, an old switch or something like that. Oh well, put it in a bag and clean it out when we get home. All right, off we go. I just dug that up. I know what the devil that is, like a big wedge of some sort. Blooming heavy, weighs about four pounds, big chunk of steel. I don't think it's a tooth of a dig or anything like that. Just a huge, great stick wedge. Right, off to the next one. I don't know what the devil I've got there. I don't know what that is. Anybody got any ideas? Heavy. I don't know if it's lead. Or whether it's bronze. Oh well. Put that in my pocket. Have a look when we get home. I don't know what that is at all. Right, right, look at that. Just dug that out from down this hole. It says the buffs. And that's the Kent Regiment. And that's, uh, I think it said uh, Royal Foot. So that's mega old. Uh, we'll get a date off that later on. But, uh, woo, I'm chuffed with that. Woohoo! Well, I suppose it'll show, it may show up on there. It's, uh, well, we get a date when we get home anyway. This is his commanding officer's cat badge coming out. Oh, he reckons he's found the commanding officer's cat badge. He hasn't found any hat badges at all today. No, this is the officer of command's one. No, it isn't. It's tin foil. No, that's his winching. Right. Who needs a metal detector to find coins, look? The moles dig them up for you. Look at that. Just, look. Yep, you see the mark still there? What is it? It's, a, it's on the other side. It's big. It's George V. It's penny. It's George V, look. Let's see if we can get a date off it. Hang on, come back to the mark. Right, there we go, look. If that'll focus, 1921 George V. And that's literally laying on the surface like you can see where the coin was who needs a detector okay i think my battery's going to run out all right i've only moved about a foot uh, there's another one george v again and it's in nice condition should be a good day off that one <laughs> hang on can you have a look at that one see if you can see a date on that yeah. Right, it's 1917. To give you an idea how far away I was. There's the mole hill, I found the other penny. And this one's like a couple of foot away. Right, there we go. After the... Right, we're still in the same hole, look. 
there's another one. You see it? Just down there. There we go. What we got there? Oh, this one's a worn one. Oh, it's a, it's a Vicky. It's a Victoria. We can see a date on that one. Yeah. Whoop, just oh, throwing it down the old speckly old. I'll turn this off a minute because my battery's not. Oh, okay. about the window, and it's uh, 1887. I thought that was a musket ball. You can see the, the mould line on it and where the, the sprue was. But then look, got one that end and one that end. So, anybody have any ideas? I can't see it being anything to do with fishing. We're rather a long way from the coast here. But we have found a weight, a fishing weight. Yeah, oh, Jeff did find a fishing weight. <laughs> There you go. Right down that hole there, we found brown bottle glass and look at that big handle. Is that off a treasure chest? Is there treasure down there? No, just a fag butt. Right, and it's not mine. There we go. Right, on to the next one. Yeah, uh, that old sister. That big brass key. Unusual look, it's triangular. Could that be an ex early Victorian gas meter cupboard? <laughs> there you go. Nice patina on it. Yeah, nice one. Right, on the next one. Finally! Got the silver! George V. 1922, look. George V, 1922. Nice. Woohoo! Silver! Hi ho, we're away! Sorry about the wind noise, but the tailing at the moment. Uh, oh, where's that gone? Oh god, I've lost it. Okay. Oh, it's falling in the hole. Hang on. Come here. How about that for a strange bit of lead? Look at that, look. I don't know what that was for. Anyone got any ideas? Answers on the postcard, please. There we go. Is that a gaming piece or something like that? I don't know. Oh well. On to the next one. Oh, look. Come out the same hole as that piece of lead. There's a little pistol bullet. It's got a P25 star and looks like 40 on it. Come on Dave, any ideas? I don't know what it is, leaking water out of it anyway. Right, okay. Still pulling coins out, look. Two there. They came out of that hole there, look. Look how deep that is. Deeper than my pin pointer. Now we're right down the bottom of the hole laying there together. Right, we'll come back and let me tell you what. Here we go, doing a quick round up. This is my stuff. A couple of uh, ring pulls. Not sure what that is. But uh, I think it's bronze or it could be lead. It's quite heavy. Loads of bullets. Some of these are uh, training bullets. That's a training bullet, a live one there. That's my cat badge, which is uh, from the Buffs. They were around in 1570 something. Shilling, two overall buttons, one flat button, all the coins, there's a lead token there, another lead token. I think that's off a bit of horse tack. Bits of wire, loads of lead. Let's go over there with that lot, more lead. Cut the pistol balls, piece of aluminium, more aluminium, more lead. Not sure what that is. I don't know if that was for winding up the detonators or something on. Uh, shells or something like that, but we'll find out later. Strange all shoot, handle off a treasure chest, never did find the treasure. Big chunk of lead. Uh, those bits of aluminium we're writing on. I thought that was a pistol ball, but it's got a hole right through it. Unusual. Fishing weight. No, I don't know, it could be a fishing weight. There's a weird shotgun um, shells, I don't know what they're off. No writing or anything on them. That one's just a brass cap. 
bits of glass, bits of copper and the rest of it's all lead, bit of bakelite with the brass in it and there's terminals and that in there. Moving over to Jeff, got a fishing weight. Strangest find in the yeah, middle of the country. You find that in the middle of the country, a fishing weight. He's got uh, half a horseshoe, big shire horseshoe, nice 50 cal there, loads of training bullets, live 303s, loads of pistol bullets, he's got lots of coins, trade token, two, two, trade, token. two trade tokens there, that's uh, an accumulator, that's the old type batteries, you used to take it around the greengrocer and get them charged up, or the, the grocers, oh yeah he's got a military button here, I'll get that in quick otherwise he should be slapping me, oh please. <laughs> <laughs> What's the thing there with the writing on it? Oh no, a bit of lead. There's a bit of lead with writing on it. This is Jason's. He's got a spike of some sort and a nail of some sort. <laughs> got some training bullets, bits and, of lead. Got a nice. Lost a lot out of his bag. He's lost a lot of his coins. I've There's a the nice uh, button there. This coins this used to be for a coat hanger or some There's sort. A coat hanger of some sort. Bits of lead. All sorts of other things. There's a lead disc over there. Some more buttons. Odd coins, some of them 1700s. This is Show us nice. that button. That's a really nice button. Look, got a little stone in the middle of it. Yeah. Anyway, we're packing around up now because it's piddling with rain. So we'll catch you on YouTube sometime in the near future. Bye bye for now.